Our next guest, Dr. Taryn Marie Stakeskull, is an international resiliency expert. Welcome to the Forbes Factor. We focus on health, wealth, and happiness. Today we've got a very special guest. Will you please put a big round of applause and welcome to the stage, Ms. Taryn Marie. founder of the Resilience Leadership Institute. don't understand about resilience is we've been taught that resilience is something that lives outside of ourselves. Something we've got to go find, something we've got to go become. And what I've found is that resilience is actually the essence of being human. And so we get to stop looking outside of ourselves for resilience Absolutely. and realize that it lives within us. Oh, how beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank you. I'm a big believer that it's one of the most important personality traits to having a blissful and successful life is the ability to learn to be resilient. One of the myths, right, is that we bounce back, that yes. we're unaffected, right? The truth is we bounce forward. We take the wisdom, we take the empathy, we take the experience, the knowledge, the strength, and we go forward. Mm. And we create a, a new version of ourselves. Really profound. Thank you. Now, in fact, the people that recover the fastest are not the most resilient. We've thought that for a long time. I can have surgery on Friday and be back at the office on Monday. Have complications on Tuesday. <laughs> when we come back too fast, we actually make things worse for ourselves. practice of particularly resilient people is the practice of gradiosity. If you haven't heard that word before, that's okay, because I made it up. Don't feel bad. It's a combination of gratitude, first being able to look on a challenge after some time and to see the good in it, and second, to be able to share our challenges generously with others, so others can learn vicariously from our experience. One of the things that I talk about is that we all walk around with an imaginary slip of paper in our pocket. And the imaginary slip of paper says, people would think I was crazy if they knew, dot, dot, dot. And then we fill in the blank, we fill in the blank. And oftentimes what we put in that blank is our resilient story. So what happens is when we have experiences that are emotionally charged, where someone's yelling at us, saying awful things, hurting our feelings, those um, experiences, because they're so emotional, they get stored in our brain in a different place. And so we're more likely to remember experiences that are emotional, which is why it also takes, to your point, five positive experiences to balance out one super negative experience. And that's an important rule to remember, okay.